the ancient Amharic or Ethiopic Bible in the language that the young and old overstood. So that's a fulfillment, what his Imperial Majesty did in 1961 on his Earth Day or the day that we know prophetically as the revelation or the birthday, the Earth Day of the Son of Man or Lij Teferi is very, very significant. It's very, very significant. So what we have is the King Sabbath or the, the Son of Man's Day being a Sabbath day. Mm. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. It's, it's the King Sabbath. This year inaugurates the King Sabbath in addition to the King Sabbath or the Son of Man's birthday uh, corresponding and coinciding in this 2011 year with um, a Sabbath day or a Senda day. But additionally to that, it's the 50th anniversary. It also marks the 50th anniversary because what was done 50 years ago on the 23rd of July, 1961. Kadamawi Haile Selassie, the one who sits upon the throne of David, therefore the very throne of Jehovah, published the ancient Amharic or Ethiopic Bible in the language with the young and old overstood. So that's a fulfillment, what his imperial majesty did in 1961 on his Earth Day or the day that we know prophetically as the revelation or the birthday, the Earth Day of the Son of Man or Lij Teferi is very, very significant. It's very, very significant. So what we have is the King Sabbath or the, the Son of Man's Day being a Sabbath day. And the Sabbath day in connection with the Torah scrolls and the Torah readings. And then the fact that the very holy Bible that we use, the Metzhaf Kedus, is the very Bible of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, as per Revelation 5 and 5. Now this is very significant because it was 50 years ago. Now we know that the number 50 is significant to us because 50 marks a jubilee time. So now we have to look at it within that significance that it's the marking of a jubilee time. How significant, is it? How, how significant is that? That it's a jubilee time, a 50 year period. And a 50 year period for what? For what was fulfilled 50 years ago as per Revelation 5 5. Now, when we look at the other, um, we can say, nature signs, you know, signs of the time and prophetic things or strange things, unusual things, but based on the scripture, these were things to be prophesied. We had triple, triple digits for triple days in a heat wave leading up to and into His Imperial Majesty's Earth Day, July 23rd. And, and July 23rd is when the so-called sun sign of Leo, the lion, begins. As well as an ancient comet, when we look at ancient comet now, July 23rd is also significant because it's known as the head of creation. This day is the head of creation. Now, all of these correspondences have to be looked at. But what we're doing is doing our part to sharing this word with those who can receive it and those who will headrest with Jah, headrest with Yah, based on the word, watch and pray in the name of the Moshia, and the more of the revelation will be revealed to them as the Holy Spirit is, is willing to give to those who are willing to receive in the proper in the proper order. You understand the word, so to be born again is very significant and you know that's all part of the good news of the King of Kings. And what better proof that his imperial majesty is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah as per Revelation um five, chapter five and five, you know, we called his Imperial Majesty. We did a song a couple of years ago, um, called Mr. Five by Five. Kadamawi Haila Salase is Mr. Five by Five. Because he said that he was about five foot five, some say five foot four. And then there is a correspondence with the the height of his Imperial Majesty and the Ark of the Covenant, and it's known that the Ark of the Covenant is a symbolic seat for the true and living God, as well as as a connection with the throne of Jehovah and the Davidic. When we look at it in the Davidic sense of the throne of David being the very throne of Yahweh or Jehovah, and this throne of David was renewed in biblical Ethiopia, the land of Cush. 
So all of this is very, very significant. And we're going to touch on a, a, a couple more aspects of this, but we still want to meditate on this. But in, 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 in being filled up, we wanted to share this good news, share this new wine with those who are ready and willing to receive it. So this is the Jubilee year. This, this King Sabbath has initiated or has inaugurated to say, well, we prefer the word initiated, has started, you understand, and corresponded with the 50th anniversary or the jubilee of the publishing, the very first publishing of the Metzahav Kedus or the Book of the Seven Seals, which Revelation says, Weep not, behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah hath prevailed. So as Imperial Majesty Kalamari Haile Selassie, even on that very significant level, not being so much to spiritualize, but there's a whole reality to the Book of the Seven Seals or His Majesty the Amharic Bible, especially for us as as true and faithful Rastafari, those of us that who call ourselves Rastafari, who seek to be true and to be faithful, have to study and show ourselves the proof and learn the truth and therefore rightly divide the word of truth. So these markers, these are all prophetic markers, that here's where we have to study the word and study the scripture and pray and meditate to really know the fullness of it. So more is to come, my brothers and sisters. Give thanks and praise. The ancient Amharic or Ethiopic Bible in the language with the young and old overstood. So that's a fulfillment. What his Imperial Majesty did in 1961 on his Earth Day or the day that we know prophetically as the revelation or the birthday, the Earth Day of the Son of Man or Lij Teferi is very, very significant. It's very, very significant. So what we have is the King Sabbath or the, the Son of Man's Day being a Sabbath day. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. It's, it's the King Sabbath. This year inaugurates the King Sabbath in addition to the King Sabbath or the Son of Man's birthday. 